So I got my Costco membership card taken. Come here. Everybody wanted an explanation, and I'm going to give you one. So Costco wasn't too happy with the fact that I went to go buy mac and cheese, right? However, when I showed them my membership card, uh, the picture that I took, I didn't have my beard. Therefore, the person that was at the register didn't believe that it was me. Therefore, they didn't let me buy the mac and cheese. I had to put it back. So my response was to share the mac and cheese recipe with everybody. Well, that person not only saw the video, well, I believe he held a grudge because I went back to that Costco, same person, he took my membership card and he said, how do I know it's you? I said, we have literally already done this. Do we, can we not do this today? And he said, well, what if I don't want to give you back your card? And I said, you know what? You keep it. You keep it. I said, you want to know why? Because I want you to look at that picture and know exactly who shared the churro recipe that you guys had. And he said, did you share the churro recipe? And I said, not yet. You want to boil 250 grams of water. After it's boiled, you want to add 12 grams of vegetable oil, 4 grams of baking powder, a half gram of salt, 150 grams of flour. Then you want to put it in a piping bag, cut a hole in the corner, and then fry pieces of churro. Then you want to mix it together in brown sugar and cinnamon and make your chocolate sauce, which is just heavy cream and dark chocolate. Also, for their pizza, they cure their dough in canola oil, just in case you want to do some pizza too. Have fun. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, a lot of these restaurants are starting to overthink it at this point, come here. So normally, I share secret recipes from my secret recipe book, but I only do it if I absolutely have to. I had no intention of sharing any recipes today. And then someone from Chick-fil-A messaged me and said, I know what you're gonna do. And I said, what are you talking about? And he said, I know that you're going to be looking into Chick-fil-A recipes. And I said, I, I genuinely mean this. I have not been thinking about you guys at all. And then he said, well, how about this? I have the sauce recipe and I'll give it to you for a price. And I said, I already, I already know the recipe. I just wasn't gonna share it. And he goes, no, you don't prove it. And I told him the recipe was made in Fredericksburg, Virginia and an employee eight years ago posted the recipe and then deleted it. I have the document already. And then he said, oh my goodness, please don't share the recipe and don't tell anybody I did this. And I said, don't worry, your secret's safe with me. One half cup of coleslaw dressing, a fourth cup of barbecue sauce, and one and one half tablespoon of mustard. Save some money, make it at home. If you want to add some more flavor, add lemon juice and honey to it, but there, there's a sauce recipe. I, I really didn't know I was going to be doing this today, but there you go. Making yeah, pizza sauce yeah, at Little yeah, Caesars. Yeah, yeah, I will miss in the action like Chris yeah, the thing is, right, come here, I called Little Caesars, and I said, excuse me, I just saw that you guys make your crazy sauce um, in a tub on the ground, and I just wanted to make sure that that's not every single Little Caesars, you know, just in case I want to go get some crazy sauce. And the person on the phone said, even if we did, you're still going to eat the crazy sauce. Come here, and I said, well, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure if that's the case. I'm like, well, what if, what if somebody wants to just make it at home instead of going over there? And he said, it's not like you know the recipe. And I said, I, I might, who knows? And he says, it's not like you're that guy that shares the recipes online. And then I just stopped and I said, you know what? You're right. It's a one in eight billion chance that I'm the guy that knows the crazy sauce recipe and has the recipe book and has the glasses that shares them. So, uh, you know, it's a shame that I'm not. And I said, have a good night. And I hung up the phone. So, you know, if only I was that guy, I can share the crazy sauce recipe. Now at Little Caesars, they mix around tomato sauce with water and spice packets in order to make the sauce. Now the question is, what spices are used to make the sauce? Well, you wanna do 15 ounces of tomato puree, a half teaspoon of salt, a fourth teaspoon of ground black pepper, garlic powder, dried basil, dried marjoram, oregano, and thyme. Then you wanna mix in your water and so you can have it in increments. Therefore, you can try crazy sauce at the house and maybe not make it on the ground. You, are, you might want to sit down for this because Costco is officially changing out the churro for a double chocolate chunk. So quick update, Costco took my membership card. Come here. Reason why was because a while back I tried to get their mac and cheese and then when I tried to pay for it, they looked at my membership card and they didn't think it was me because I didn't have my beard in my membership picture. So they made me put the mac and cheese back. So I did what any reasonable person would do. Um, I shared the recipe with everybody so that they can just make it at home. Uh, well, Costco wasn't too happy about that because when I went back, the same cashier uh, was giving me a hard time about my membership card. And I said, you know what? Just keep it. 
keep the card because I want you to know exactly who keeps sharing these recipes since you guys want to give me such a tough time. So then I shared with everybody how to make their churros. Um, well, it's been some time and I think Costco thinks that everything is all good because that same cashier messaged me saying, hey, hope you had a great holiday. Get closer. Who wants to make cookies? One cup of salted butter, a cup of brown sugar, a half cup of regular sugar, two eggs, a third cup of corn syrup, one tablespoon of molasses, a half teaspoon of vanilla extract, three and a half cups of flour, a half teaspoon of salt, a half teaspoon of baking soda, and one and a half cups of chocolate chunks. And then preheat the oven to 350 degrees, cook for 11 minutes, you'll now have a Costco chocolate chunk cookie you can make at home. Uh, have fun. So I've been hearing that you can get a family-sized bucket of chili at Wendy's. Now, mind you, of course I have my secret recipe book, but I never seen this before, so I wanted to go see if it was true. Now, mind you, Wendy's and I are not on good terms because of the chicken nugget incident, where I heard you can get a bucket of chicken nuggets. I went, they said, yeah, we'll give you a bucket. They lied and gave me all small containers of chicken nuggets with no sauce and watched me drive away. So at that point, I realized we might be enemies. So I called beforehand and said, excuse me, do you guys have a bucket of chili? They said, yes, we do. So I went over to the Wendy's. They recognized me. I said, I would like a bucket of chili. And they said, we don't have buckets of chili. And I said, I just called the store. You guys said you did. And they said, well, it wasn't us. I said, this is not your number. And I, I showed him my phone. I said, this is not your number. They said, no. I said, so if I call this number, that phone's not going to ring. He said, no, it's not. So I called the number. That phone rang. I don't know why he thought I wasn't going to do it in front of him. And then he looked at me and said, what happens now? Come here. I said, I think you know what happens. The special ingredient for their chili is their actual burger patties. The patties that they don't use for their burgers, they break it up and they put it in the chili. So you can use two pounds of ground beef, a quart of tomato juice, a can of tomato puree, 15 ounces of red bean strained and pitone bean strained, one large onion, a half cup of diced celery, a fourth cup of diced green bell pepper, a fourth cup of chili powder, one teaspoon of cumin, one and a half teaspoon of garlic, one teaspoon of salt, a half teaspoon of pepper, oregano and sugar, and an eighth teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Enjoy your chili. I am slowly turning into my grandfather. Get so close right now. My grandfather loves Sprite, like way too much. Does that make sense? He has entirely too much Sprite in his house. And I remember I would think like, wow, I, I'll never like Sprite that much. I'm making Sprite biscuits right now. First, you're gonna add two cups of Bisquick. Then you're gonna add a half cup of sour cream. Next, you wanna use about a half cup of Sprite. So update, the original recipe said two cups of Bisquick. That is not true. It is still like very sticky. So you wanna use like three or four cups of Bisquick until you get a dough ball that looks like this to where it's not like sticking on your finger. Next, you take your dough ball and you widen it out like this so that you can cut it into sections and make individual biscuits. If you wanna form a biscuit, make a circle with one hand and push it down with the other and keep circulating it until it starts looking like a biscuit. Here are the biscuits. We're gonna put them on here and bake them at 450 degrees for about 15 minutes. This is how the biscuits came out. As you can see, they look beautiful. They rose really good. We're gonna put some butter on these. Now the carbonation from the Sprite is supposed to make the biscuits fluffy. So let's give it a try. Now I've definitely had better biscuits before, but if you ever need like a quick biscuit and you have some Sprite, this really works well. Your pizza roll, make garlic butter. Pour garlic butter. Add Parmesan cheese. After mixing it, yummy. I don't think people understand, when you are in the mood for pizza rolls, come here, that means that you want to do the least amount of effort in making food possible. When I want pizza rolls at three in the morning, I barely microwave them. I'll almost eat them frozen, does that make sense? However, I am gonna try this and see if it's good. Okay, we have the fried pizza rolls right here. Now we're gonna get the garlic butter. Okay, here's the garlic butter right here. Okay, we're gonna pour the garlic butter over these rolls here and then we're gonna mix them around. Now we're gonna add a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Oh, okay, that was Okay, this is how they look like after. Okay, we're gonna give these a try and see if they're any, any good. Stop. Stop. If you guys are willing to put the effort in, this is, this is good. I'll tell you what really does it is that garlic butter. That garlic butter really does a... 
Oh yeah. 